Hello, this is Annalisa, and this is a tutorial that will teach you how to create a new Facebook page in five quick and easy steps. First of all, it's important to know why you're creating a page in the first place and not a profile or a group. You can learn about the differences on our blog at this blog post here. And to learn more about places, you can go to facebook.com forward slash places to learn more about what that means and the difference between a place page and a regular business page. Secondly, you need a personal account in order to create a page and you can learn why here on this blog post. Now we're ready for step one. Go to facebook.com and log into your personal account and then go to facebook.com forward slash pages. And you can see that you can browse all the existing pages or in the upper right hand corner, you can click the button that says create page. Step two, on this page you'll see that there are two boxes offering you a couple of choices. Most likely you're going to want to create an official page, not a community page. There is a link right here in the community page box if you want to learn more about what that means. This particular tutorial is focused on creating official pages only, which are for official representatives of a business or an organization or a public figure only. So step three, in this official page box, you will see some more options. Choose the type of page here that you want to create. The only place that these categories of page will show up is in the search results on Facebook. For example, when you search for HyperArts, you'll see that it comes up listed as a local business. These are also important because they determine the content fields on your info tab. For instance, if you create a page under the local business category, there will be fields on your info tab, such as hours of operation, your address, parking situation, etc. But if you pick technology, product, or service, for example, then the info fields are going to be different. Um, they'll include things like your company info, your mission statement, products, and more general info. So pick which one you think is most appropriate for your particular page. Step four, you want to choose the name of your page. Choose wisely because this cannot be changed. The only way you can change your page name is to delete your page and start over again. Pick a name that's short and descriptive. Long names make your page harder to find in searches unless someone knows the exact name of your page. Pick keywords that are relevant to your company. If you're creating a page for a public figure, then you can use their name as the title. And it's important to note that this name is not the same as a custom URL. You can create the custom URL for your page later once you have 25 fans. So I'm choosing the name of my page. And step five, the very last step, is to check the box that confirms that you are an official representative and that you have the right to create this Facebook page. When you're ready, click Create Official Page. Facebook will ask you one more time to confirm that you have the right to create this page. And once you do confirm, you have a brand new Facebook page. The next important tasks are outlined on this Get Started tab, which is only visible to you and other admins of the page. It will go away when you've performed some of these tasks and promoted your page to give it some customization. To find out more about our tips for optimizing your fan page, you can visit our blog at hyperarts.com forward slash blog. Thank you.